Memawo Achi. Welcome to Life With Them. If you're new to us and we're new to you, we are the Demachette family. We explore cultures of the world through cuisine, travel, and family adventures. Today, we're taste testing Ghana's Kele Willy. <laughs> Plantain, 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 or plantain, plantain, plantain. Let me know how you guys pronounce it. Y'all do great in the comment section. Let us know how to do that. Y'all actually break it down like we in class. But again, pronunciation is always key to people who don't know exactly what this is. You probably see there's a lot coming up in your stores, meaning like Walmart or any other grocery store that have food products like this. Um, back in the day when I first saw these, just to be honest with y'all, man, I thought these was unripe bananas, like not all the way finished bananas, just fresh off the tree onto the cart. Let it sit there for like three days and it's going to be nice and yellow, right? I mean, it is a banana. That's not what happened though. Wait, these suckers we don't stay, eat it. These suckers That's stay why. green and <laughs> then they get darker green and then they start to turn the color they need to turn. Bananas just turn yellow to brown. They go green to dark green to black. Yeah, we have the GMOs. Oh, Lord. They don't, <laughs> they don't want to talk about GMOs. But, um, yeah, like, so let me know how you guys go about, you know, actually naming these. We see these get made a lot in Ghana. Um, Jamaica. Jamaica. Uh, a lot of different locations around the world. Hopefully they like it. Every other dish we made, they really enjoy it. So this is another new one that we're going to introduce to the fam. And we do have our own spices that we're going to continue to keep inside the family cabinet tree. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So. Yeah, so far we haven't disliked anything. There were some things that, you know, just had to grow on us a little bit. But... Oh, that was so rude. I don't know if they're going to be able to hear you with that all. Okay, give us a sec. Yeah, it smells that nice. Smells good. And you got some ground nutmeg over here as well? Mm -hmm. I have all of that in there. Alright, so as you can see here, the ingredients some sea salt, some nutmeg, ground clove, and ginger. Some ginger. That's how we know that they turn different colors. You know what I'm saying? When they start going yeah. bad. Just yeah. to let y'all know about it. It kept going bad because we're just so busy. You know, so we finally made the time. Mm. Alright, so just for that, we're going to make another Ghana recipe soon. Yeah, facts, okay? facts, facts. So, we do know that y'all use like the, what is it called? Mortar it's, and pestle. It's the bowl. It's yeah, a, the a bowl stone. The a uh, cast iron bowl almost like you yeah know? yeah the, the mortar and pestle we know y'all use that but we have blended facts right and of course y'all know if i already have something uh ingredient in the house in another form i'm using that ingredient we do know that y'all use a lot of fresh ingredients like the ginger the cloves and that meg like yeah but but they got it in powder form yeah so that's what we're gonna do but this is how it turned out y'all can see Oh, Lord. let me smell. Hold on. The peppers. I'm with that. Y'all can't see it. You all right? Oh, you got to throw up? No, so you see, I was thinking about what you went through earlier. Right. And I'm like, yeah, that's pretty dang. Um, that's that's strong. That's mm -hmm. strong. The jerk seasoning, if I'm not mistaken, we have. This is a more potent smell. Yeah. The jerk seasoning will have makes you. Like when you taste it, then it's gonna hit you different. But this, right, this is the smell. This one right here, the smell is strong. Yeah, the smell is shit. 
we did have to add like a little tiny bit of water just because it was in the blender so ours didn't come out as like dry as y'all's would like the videos i were i was following right 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 but this is how it looks Ooh. Yeah, yeah, it may yeah. tilt and fall out because it's wet we're gonna show y'all a close up yeah, in the video. Gonna, yeah that way we're gonna do it that way <laughs> that you guys cut them differently two ways you can do it if you got a chopping board definitely use that um but there's also another secret to doing it you can cut yeah so you could definitely take the plantain cut it down the middle and then you can actually go ahead and start slicing it right down the middle then you know you're gonna have it like a plate in your hand with the plantain as you're cutting it like that y'all get what i'm saying all right cool baby <clears throat> okay, oh you're doing it you did it just like that so she's asking how do y'all know when this is ready to eat this is what it looks like as you guys can see um it has the seeds right in the middle i don't know i'm gonna just feel it i don't like this one this look like it's still gripping the skin yeah. you know what i'm saying so it's kind of difficult to oh i don't know if it's ready you know what i'm saying it's gonna cook down ready i can tell you that much <laughs> Ready, better get ready. If it ain't ready, better understand. <laughs> Everything is basically our first time when we're cooking time. something that you guys offer us. Yes, really. for y'all. We know how to cook Creole food and, and soul food mm. and, you know, regular American food. Mm. But we've never cooked with plain things before. True. Y'all said no. It had to be right. So The question came, how do we know if these are ready to be cooked? And you guys blew us in the comments. I'm talking about y'all went crazy in the comments section. Like, Please. Do it again. <laughs> From the top. <laughs> they yeah. have to be like really right. So we doing it again. Yeah, yeah. That's how much we respect y'all. Nah, facts, facts. Cause you know what? If somebody made my gumbo with with corn or or tomatoes, nah, respect. I respect. would tell y'all the same thing. Like, what is Do that? it again. And then y'all didn't y'all didn't want us to have a bad experience and then right. we come out talking about y'all this is not really a go-to dish. Mm -hmm. I mean from it not being ready to cook to being ready to cook, mm -hmm. I believe it will have two crazy tastes, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Two different distinctive tastes. So yeah. Well, this is supposed to be sweet and it tasted like chips almost to us. Remember I said I was like, I want some uh, some uh ketchup. With like this. potato wedges, you know? Yeah, so yeah. let's see. We're about to do it again. Let's do it. We're back so we done. We did it. We did it again. Part two. Part two. Feel it? Yeah. First impressions. They're way softer mm, mm. <laughs> than last time. Everything mm. looked more mm. better. And again, we made sure that we you know we cooked it down to the tea, nice yes. and golden, as nice you can see. Nice and golden. Um, yeah. Seasoning really on it. <laughs> nah, I don't think you guys can, but the seasoning on it is going A1 plus. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ready to dig in though. Let's get to it. This Let's is get... hot. This is hot. Yeah. So now we have something to compare it to because last time I was like, oh, it tastes like chips. Right, so, let's see. Oh, yeah. Y'all want something. Wow. 
Spicy and sweet. Wow. And a little tart. Wow. Can you can you remind us one more time all that was in this? Red onion, chili peppers, yeah, chili nutmeg, mm. cloves, salt. That's it? Some salt? Mm-hmm. Yo, it's like these ingredients are blended so far. I can't even identify them right now. But it Sweet has a spicy, spicy sweetness to it. Yo, That's this is dope. Right? This, is a, this is a clean one right here. This is clean. Oh, I can stuff my face all day. I can stuff my face with this one all day. Mm. Okay, so the first time it was just tough. It was. That was the only difference. It was just tough. I don't feel like I need ketchup anymore. <laughs> I like this. It reminds me of like the texture of apples. Fried apples. <laughs> Man. Ooh, for a good movie night. Yo, I can't get mad at y'all for loving this food. Yeah. Hey, we not did it again for you guys. Like, we have never known this taste was so rich. Yeah. This is a rich taste. Every food that we've cooked on this channel that you guys recommended is so distinctive. It's ridiculous, it really bro. So unique in its own style. You know the one thing that I like? What's that? We're all so prideful about our food. Nah, <laughs> gotta be. If you ain't, then uh, you ain't cooking it right. I really like this, y'all. Hey, I'm not putting no Tony on this. Mm -hmm. It's spicy. Man, I'm not. It's not, nothing you can add to it. This is perfect. This is really perfect. So blended. But, like, you don't need mm. water because the plantain, you know, make it mellow. Bro, it gives that, like, <laughs> I can't explain it, but I get where you're going with it. Yeah, like, it's I get where spicy. You're going with it. Until you start biting into the plantain. Bro, it's not a disrespectful spicy. Mm, disrespectful. It's like a it's like a it's like a moonwalk type of spicy. Mm. It's not tap dancing on your tip of your tongue. It's like moonwalking. Okay. Hey, I, hey, I'm putting I'm piecing it together. Give me some more bites and hold on. We're gonna eat this whole plate. This was fine. This is good. Alright, ten out of ten. Period. Ten out of ten. The kids are gonna love this. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. We're going to pack this for lunch tomorrow. The spice level kind of reminds me of our seafood boils. Like, it's spicy, but it's a good spicy. It's not no, I need some water, I need some milk, you know? Yeah. I'm going to keep stuff in my face, so we might as well just go ahead and hang up. <laughs> and, uh, we'll call y'all back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Back. All right, y'all. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Let us know what you want to see from us next. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.